for those who are dealing with someone who are a narcissist. Now, a narcissist is just a plain, complete follower of Satan. They're possessed by Satan. A narcissist is someone who is very controlling and miserable. Uh, uh, strongly 100% in other people's affairs without uh, conscious of what they're doing. Even when you tell them, when you remind them, even if they know they're doing it wrong, sometimes they can't help but to continue to live in this shenanigan way by being in other people's affairs. Being a meddler is a sin. Being a meddler is a sin. Matter of fact, a meddler is in the category, when you get disciplined as a meddler, you, you will be in the category as a murderer and a thief and an evildoer. So letting you know just because it may seem innocent and, and a less of a, a crime or whatever, <laughs> as people say, it's not a crime to do this and that and the other. It's not a crime to gossip. It's truly a crime to gossip. It's truly a crime to be a meddler. A meddler is a busybody, someone who is always in other people's affairs. I just recently cut someone off, like completely, like I'm done. Like for five years, this person has been a butthole in my life. So, in the process of me cutting this person off, I don't talk to him no more. Satan comes in all safe shades and forms. So, I just want to let you all know, when you cut people off, the signs of a miserable narcissist, man or woman, they will continue on trying to talk to you or deal with you to try to win you over. But trying to not only just get in to get in, to have you let your guards down to let them back in to continue to be a butthole in your life. But it will be a point where they feel that they're going to continue to treat you bad but have that one up on you and they'll stop dealing with you. That's how the narcissist continue to get their little repayments back. You cut me off, oh no, nah, I'm going to cut you off. So what they do is try to be nice. What I do? Did I do something? I apologize if I did anything. I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean, I didn't know who at the bam and all this shenanigan. Do not fall for it. Do not let your guards down once you cut someone off. When you cut someone off, you cut them off for a reason. You cut them off for a reason. So Satan will get in these people who are possessed as narcissists. And he will control them to manipulate your mind and to think, well, man, maybe I am being a little harsh towards this person. That's what Satan does. He transforms. He's a deceiver. So the person or people may come at you cool, calm, collected for that season after you can cut them off so you can let your guards down. So you'd be like, okay, yeah, I, I did. I was kind of harsh to this person. This person probably is a nice person. Let me know I don't want to be cool with them. No. But with this person who I just uh, recently cut off, they're being possessive. So it's obvious to the eye. When I cut this person off, this person purposely try to talk to me to get a, re, a response out of me. They want to do things for me and, and get in my way, like purposely get in my way. Totally demonic and obsession to the point where I may have to file for harassment. Like, this just that crazy. So, this person, I know what's going on with this person. This person has lost control. So, now, it's bothering them. They're probably, from, that, from their actions of what's happening, they're probably losing sleep at night. So, the control is gone. They don't have no control over me, so they like, oh, man, what shall I do? So they feel that they can play games by trying to manipulate by sabotaging with conversation, manipulation. But see, I, I'm a graduate. I, I'm a narc survivor, as they say. So I try to be careful with calling myself uh, a scapegoat and all that. No, that's of Satan. We don't call ourselves that. We just call ourselves a survivor of the wicked. You know what I'm saying? We are the children of the obedient. So this person is, is at the point where they try to provoke me to get some type of response out. It's dangerous at this point because a narcissist or a person of control would rather for you to cuss them out, bust their tires, uh, bust their windows, snap at them, call them all type of bees, a-holes and all that. They're, they're, they're rather for you to do that than ignore them. I keep trying to tell people the silence the silent treatment that you give people who you have to give it to and cut them off is a, oh, it's a horrible mental torment towards the narcissist. They cannot deal with that. They cannot deal with silence. 
So this person is so obsessed with trying to win me over that they literally keep talking to me. After about a week, they know that I don't respond to them. I ignore them or whatever. They try to do this. They try to do that. They try to say something. They try to do things to try to get a response, a reaction. They want to grab this to try to do this. And it's like I'm just, it's in my head like I just want to just rein this person neck. Like leave me the F alone. Like seriously, you see I don't deal with you. So why are you purposely trying to, you see what I'm saying? But I already know it's because of themselves. They want the control back. They want some type of reaction so they can be like, okay, whoo, I got her to say something. I got her to do something. No, I'm staying strong. Is this part of my growing in spirituality? This is my spiritual growth at this point. I know that. See, you have to grow spiritually. You have to have that godly growth in order to reign alone in the kingdom. We got steps. It's a process to make it into the kingdom. So we're going to be going through all type of trials and tribulations and tests. So when people who you feel that's that's of the wicked Cut them off, but be careful because they are, they are know that you've cut them off and you for real about your spirituality and, and dealings of the wicked. So what they do, Satan will try to manipulate, well, well do this for them. Uh, uh, try to manipulate so they put their guards down so they can have some more dealings with you so you can get back in there. And so we can continue to play our games with these people so we can uh, cause them, provoke them to backslide and they have to go repent after they slap you or shot you or whatever. See what I'm saying? See, Satan's method. It is just so we won't get into the kingdom. That's his whole method. So he'll do any and everything to cause us to lose our crown, to cause us where we will have to be in this punishment uh, 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 thing with God. Our connection with God is kind of like crooked. You know what I'm saying? No. What we're going to do is defeat Satan and his peoples. So if you cut someone off, Keep it cut off. I don't care what they try to say, what they try to do. Hold your tongue, humble yourself, and if you have to, go around them or whatever and report it. Go around them and report it and just file for harassment to things die down or whatnot, if it comes to that point. But other than that, just continue to humble yourself. Do not cuss them out. Do not say, such and such, I get it. Or, no, 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 no. Don't say nothing. What did I do? Could you please explain to me what did I do? Don't explain nothing. They know what they've done. They know. They know. They just want a reaction out of you. They want a reaction out of us. Could you please remind me of what I've done? Don't say nothing. Don't shake your head. Don't say, well, you no, don't say nothing. Keep it sight. It may be hard at times, but you will win that battle. I'm telling you, submit to God. Submit to God and, the, and Satan, he will, he will flee straight up. <laughs> you got to resist that temptation with giving in to Satan and he will flee once you do that. They will be pissed. They will be mad, but that's not your problem. See, when they hurt us, when they hurt you, they don't care. When they do it to us, they go off and cheerlead and they feel they sleep at night. They do all that by treating people wrong. But when it backfires and throw the mirror at them, they lose sleep. They can't control their feelings, their emotions, their outbursts. They will them do this and that sabotage and scheme and scam and lie. They develop flying monkeys. She this and she that. She won't speak to me. Look, watch, watch this and all this. Who cares? And then you can't be worried about what other people think in view of the situation. So what? You don't have to develop flying monkeys because they did. You don't have to boo to this and that and the other because of what they're doing. No, who cares? No, no. When the wicked try to plot and scheme, they're going to reap what they sow. What we have to do is continue having a sound mind by doing right by God because we're conscious of God. When we cut people off, we cut them off for a reason. When you cut people off, don't treat them bad. Don't do not do nothing malicious Don't because God is watching us and we're supposed to be growing. We want our hands to be righteous. We want to have clean hands. You know what I'm saying? We want to have a conscious mind that I ain't did nothing wrong and this and that. That's that person. Leave them negative burdens on that person to deal with. So when you cut someone off, do not feel bad. Do not feel guilty. Uh, don't let them live rent free in your head. Don't lose no sleep. Wipe your hands dry. Keep the muzzle on your mouth and keep it moving. You don't owe them or anybody else no explanation on why you did it. They know why you cut them off. They know. Be careful because Satan is a subtle thing. He's a subtle spirit who works through people, places, and things. And he will slightly try to manipulate you to lose your crown. He will manipulate you and try to disturb your spirit because Satan likes to bother with our emotions. 
He's an emotional, reckless, evil spirit. And he will get into people to try to manipulate us to give a response and provocation. So we cannot do that. I'm telling you, yeah, so I got a stalker. You know what I'm saying? And they keep coming at me. It's like, ah. Oh. But I can't go here. I can't go around that way. So God is put me where I have to come across this person to strengthen me. That's all it is. It's not about worrying about what somebody's going to do because he's my protector. No, he give us the spirit of power, not fear. So I'm not worrying about that. It's just that I don't want to have no dealings with this person, period. When I come across this person, this person feel like they got to keep talking to me and saying something. And they feel crappy every time I don't. And I feel better every time I win that battle. <laughs> so it's just something I have to go through. Uh, to get the anger out of me and so I can have self-control of myself. And I feel so much better because I I can say that I won that battle. And I know it's more days to come. So if anybody is going through these type of battles with people and stuff like that, you have to go through it so you can grow spiritually. You have to grow, God, have that godly spirit at that level where we can be able to have these nice positions in the kingdom. We're going to be reigning. We're going to have certain positions. And we can't get to those levels unless we can defeat the defeat the, the evil spirits on earth. So that's why Jesus said when you go through uh, various trials, consider it joy. Matter of fact, leap for joy. Just consider that it's all for the good. It's just to strengthen us. So I am in a good space and I just had to share the news. Anybody that's going through stuff like that, when you cut somebody off and they mad and they did spread and rumors and lies, you are winning that battle. Oh, you are winning that battle. When you cut someone off and they just going back their business, that's a piece of man. That's cool. But when you cut somebody off you decide to keep the ups on by not speaking to them and they keep doing this and they're trying to get on you, that means that you're winning and Satan is getting mad. He mad. He he, he, he working overtime. Ah, I got to get this person. Ah, but just stand strong. Put that full armor of God on and just go to work. Stay prayed up. Shalom.